I'm going for my first run since I ran the Vitality 10k. Um, I was feeling really good on Monday and I wanted to go for a run on Monday, but I have this on my arm. If you can see. Oh, it looks really gross. <laughs> and it hurt like hell till today, <laughs> where it doesn't hurt that bad um and i was worried about kind of the friction and what it would do like if it would make it worse so i haven't been and it's thursday so i'm gonna go today i'm just gonna do a very short recovery um run just to see how my body's feeling i'm also wearing this like weird cotton t-shirt that kind of covers that bit of my arm i just look really weird because I realised, in hindsight, getting blue shoes wasn't the best idea because I don't have anything blue apart from those blue like ASICS tops I bought, but I'm wearing like this green weird top, black cycling shorts and black socks and my shoes. But it's fine because it's not a fashion show, it's a run. <laughs> I can't, just can't. No thanks. Is it yummy? Wait, let's have a look. Oh wow. Oh wow. Spon sponsor us. Sponsor us across town. <laughs> I'm gonna see cock tonight. Oh my god. I am so excited. Found a ticket that was not four hundred pounds. Um, it was actually less than what I paid for the first time I booked to see it, and then the show got cancelled that day, and I was refunded the money. Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm going this evening, and I actually I can't wait. I'm so 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 excited to see this show. I read the play. Um, it's over there. I read the play recently, and it's just fantastic. I'm just. Oh, I mean, I'm very pale in, in real life, but this lighting is, wow. So I am just making myself look a teeny weeny bit more human. I, I cannot put into words how excited I am to see this show. I really, really enjoyed the play and I'm very, very curious to see how um, how they actually 
like bring the play to life like on on stage because there are some scenes that i don't know like i just i can't really imagine how they're going to like put that on stage and what's really interesting about this play is that there are absolutely no props like there's no props there are that the stage is just a stage like there's nothing on the stage apart from the actors um so the attention is completely on the actors there's nothing to distract from the actors themselves and the performance um oh i can see kind of what i'm doing not really um so i am just so very very excited to see this um i've wanted to see it since it was announced that they were going to be doing this show like this play but um and i booked and my ticket was cancelled because the performance i booked on to was cancelled which was very sad but it worked out because i'm seeing it this evening i'm so excited there was one ticket left at a semi-reasonable price um i think i actually paid less for this ticket than i did the original one i think um but oh, i'm just so excited i cannot wait i'm so 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 excited there's also no interval which you guys know i've said before like there are definitely benefits of not having an interval like you just get to immerse yourself completely in the performance and the show and then you go home um the only thing is that this show starts a tiny bit later but because there's no interval i think i'll finish at like roughly the same time as if i went to see another show it starts at eight and the show is an hour and 45 minutes no interval so oh, i'm so excited okay face is done hair looks horrific um but that's fine so i'm gonna crack on with work now and i will catch you guys later probably when i'm leaving for the theater bye i am on my way i feel like it's christmas <laughs> was phenomenal I've never seen anything like that the staging and the movement was so special and like I, I, I like I don't have words um, it was fantastic the show started like 12 minutes late and one of the front of house um, people came up on stage and said that Johnny Bailey has been injured and so Jonathan Bailey um, has been injured and that a physio has been working with him for the past like 10 minutes and he cannot put weight on his knee. So his understudy 
who I'm, I'm going to put his full name here, but Dominic, is going to step in. <sighs> Obviously, I wanted to see Jonathan Bailey. However, the play is phenomenal. The story is fantastic. And I felt privileged to be able to go and see the play. Yes, you know, like, oh, not going to see Jonathan Bailey. It's sad. But some of the audience's reactions, I feel like I have to talk about because it was absolutely disgusting behavior. Like, some people shouted refund and booed. And I'm like, this guy is literally waiting at the wings, waiting to go on, knowing that people are here to see Jonathan Bailey. Imagine how he feels. It's just fucking rude, excuse the French. It's just rude and it pissed me off. Then some like big, you know, buff, macho man got up and went and was like, like shouting at one of the front of house staff just as the show was about to begin. And I, oh, th these things piss me off so much. Like I wanted to throw a shoe at him and be like, sit the fuck down. Like, anyways, aside from that, it was phenomenal. I would happily go again. I thought it was so special. Um, I knew the story because I'd read, I've read the play, but I just loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I couldn't fault it. Um, the guy that plays John's love interest. I can't remember his name from the play, but he has like a letter um, who's played by, I think his name is Joel. The actor's name is Joel, put his full name here. Was hilarious. He was so good looking, so funny, charismatic, like super campy. Um, I, just, I just loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I think it's definitely one of the best things that I've seen on stage and I just feel so privileged to be able to say that like I've seen it um, but yeah Dominic was fantastic and um, I hope Jonathan Bailey's okay but it was a real privilege to see Dominic on stage so yeah